the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And for this video, guys, today is a lucky day. Just doing CB trades in the public server. And then I got lucky. I was able to get the newest legendary fruit in this update 2 of King Legacy, the Spirit Fruit. So here you go, I was able to record it. Just showing you this very happy moment. And after that, we are going to sh showcase it. Okay, so we're almost done with this beast, guys. By the way, I am uh, using a dragon fruit, right? This is also a legendary fruit. We are now in the super safe zone. Thank you for doing that, developers, because there are bounty hunters here using their conquerors hockey, etc., just to grind bounties. And here we are: eight gems, one million belly, and a soul fruit. All right, guys. So, gamer nom, are you gonna do a new level one spirit fruit? Reach a second see yes i am planning to do that but watch this video first i'm gonna explain you how hard this will be okay so we're gonna remove our dragon fruit uh, this is my brother lelouch if ever he bullies you in the public server guys that's not my fault it's his way of doing things i don't know i'm gonna scold him guys don't worry okay so we have the soul fruit we're gonna eat it there you go okay again we're gonna do a noob level one but i want you to watch this first on how hard that video will be okay, as you can see we have two four six kills whoa that's a lot but it's a legendary fruit so it should be that cool right and we exchange our dragon fruit for that so as you can see i am already using my cloud ride well, it's just a reminder you cannot use any skill you need to summon it first pet summon there go the z skill as you can see, <laughs> we are dying out here. Don't worry, we're just gonna showcase it in the Loaf Island. So here we are with the Sunken Vessel. We're gonna try out all the skills, six skills. So first guys, I want you to know this. The, the requirement to be able to use all the skills are very high. Again, if we're gonna do this with a level one noob, okay, I'm gonna show it to you. First off guys, the Pet Summon. Just to use it, you need 500 points on Power Fruit. That's level 125. And guys, you won't be able to use the other skills yet. No damage. Okay? So that's hard. So first up, X Thunder. That's level 250. Just to use one skill, guys. Level 250. Given that you will put all the stats on the Power Fruit. That's the scale. This is the short range of the Dark Cloud. Guys, notice it. If you're gonna use a Thunder, the Dark Cloud will uh, move. If you're gonna use a Flame skill or the Fire skill, the other one will move. The flame cloud, the flame cloud, or the, I don't know, the fire cloud. Okay, so that's it for the thunder skill. Next up, guys, is the flamethrower. You can move while using it. This is the short range attack of the flame cloud. We're gonna call it the flame cloud. I don't know how you call it, guys. Don't bash me for that, okay? So here it is. You need level 375 and put all your stats just to use this fruit, okay? 1,500 stats on the power fruit. Nice. That will be very hard, but we will do our best. And aside from that, guys, the flame attacks, flamethrower, and the, the attack later, the fire pillar has a DPS, damage per second attack. I will show you that later. Burn effect, okay? So here you go, first two skills, the short range skills, the thunder and the flamethrower. Next up, the thunderbolt, 2000 power points, which means you need to reach level 500. And guys, put all your stats in the power fruit. That is really hard but the range now is quite further there you go this is the mid to long range skill of this fruit there you go okay one more time and then we will move on to our next skill which is the fire pillar 3000 power fruit points so which means you need to like reach 1250 and put all your stats in that just to use your last damage skill the long range fire there you go pillar really looks great so guys what do you think next up guys the e the cloud ride 2500 power fruit you need to reach level 625 just to fly again put all your stats on the power fruit and that's very hard right okay so let first let's try the speed we're gonna race a phoenix fruit there you go shout out to my brother for racing me so we're, this is the starting point and the finish line is the chair of big mom on her castle 
So are you ready guys? Are you ready? Let's go! Why am I showing you this? Because if you wanna go like a sea beast raids, right? You need to fly again. As you can see, the Phoenix fruit is kinda faster. Okay, so there's a casting time of the E Cloud ride. So I tried to race him once again and then tried to go first. He gave me a head start. Let's wait for the cooldown. Let's go guys. Let's go. My brother is gonna give me a head start because again we're gonna cast the skill first. So Yeah, nice. This concludes that the Phoenix Fruit is faster. Maybe we should attack him, right? Yeah, let's just attack him. <laughs> anyway, thanks bro. Next up guys, we're gonna try the skills while fighting a mob. Okay, so first up, the Thunder. There you go, our short range, short to mid range skill damager. There you go, the Thunder. Next up, the Thunderbolt, the long range. There you go, the longer range. Oops, sorry, sorry. We're gonna use the Thunderbolt. Again, that's a Thunder, right? Thunderbolt again, longer range. There you go. Boom. Guys, while you're using those skills, you cannot move. Comparing it to this one, the flamethrower, this is a short to mid-range attack and it has DPS and you can move while casting it. That is the fire pillar. There you go, the fire pillar. You can move while it is being casted, which is good. I am pertaining to the flamethrower. I'm not sure with the fire pillar. Okay, so that's it for the skills. What do you think, guys? Is it worth it? For the final test, I tried it in the Sea Beast. So guys, first, yes, you can fly. Not that fast, not that slow, but you can fly using the Cloud Ride to do Sea, sea Beast raids. Yay, good job. But guys, it's very hard. You need a boat. There you go. Again, thanks to my brother for lending me a boat. Because I tried using my skills and I fell down. I, I'm just a noob in using this, so I just need to practice maybe to use my skills. So guys, I suggest you bring a boat with you, a one that is really fast, there you go. And you need to like go near the sea beast just to attack. I think that's a big no-no for a legendary fruit. This will be the same as the doe fruit. You need a boat, your damage is strong, no, no doubt about that. But guys, I don't know, this is a lot harder. <laughs> the moment that I reach the sea beast, it goes under the water again and changes its direction, location. So guys, I don't know. I prefer the dragon fruit when grinding and doing CBs. Yeah, dragon fruit. Phoenix fruit for my main account. Still, that's my favorite. Okay? Okay. So I think, guys, that would be it for this video. Oh, just so you know, I got, I think, yeah, a gravity fruit here. There you go. <laughs> Plus some gems. Five gems, one million. Okay, guys. So that's it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.